Hey guys, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to make a glitch effect banner for, you know, YouTube, Twitter or whatever sort of social media site you want to use this on. Now, first of all, there's a few things that I have to mention. First thing being that there are a couple things that you need to download before starting this. So first of all, the basics, which would be the banner template. And this is just a template showing you the size of the YouTube banner and the extras, which are the blue lines that you can see displayed on the screen is a Photoshop option and this will allow for you to sort of get the middle of the point and it helps just sort of you know work out the basics and how to get it centered uh, like a centralized image and yeah so the other things that you're going to need are this font that I'm using called hacked you don't need to use it but if I just show you quickly here um, I'm just going to write a couple of letters if you just see that there it sort of it adds to like the glitch VHS effect so I mean if you uh, do multiple um, capital letters it adds like small letters as you can see here on the M you've got like the H, F, Z, U and so on and so forth but if you don't want those little letters because you think it might like it doesn't really add to it you can just type it in lowercase it'll still be in capital form but it won't have those effect and the last thing you're going to need is something like uh, a glitch effect background so I have here if it okay it does not want to let me open this is irritating now let me try there we go okay so um i just downloaded a glitch effect thing off the internet i just literally typed in glitch effect and it came up so this is what i'm going to be using so yeah i mean you i'll leave this all, all this stuff in the download like i'll leave all the download links in the description if you want to download it you can if you want to use your own version so that's perfectly fine but i mean this is just a tutorial on how to get the basics done so first of all i'm just going to drag this image into here and just work around with it a bit so what i want to do is get this in the middle and then i want to make sure this is only half so if i get that there drag that up so the points are exactly in the middle and then just click enter i'm going to drag the background layer over that and i'm just going to quickly delete this text layer because we don't need it and what i'm going to do is if you hit Control j on your keyboard it will just duplicate the layer and then you want to go to edit transform and flip horizontal that will flip it horizontal if you just drag it over here you should get a nice matching background and it works really well for the glitch effect and for a nice banner so the next thing you really want to do is go down to text i'm just going to create a new layer drag that up just because it makes things easier for me and just type my name which is oh let me change the font to white really quickly which is miller now i'm for the purpose of this video not going to use the uppercase but yeah, I'm just going to use, so let me just drag that dead in the center. I'm actually going to make this a tiny bit smaller just because it's a bit too big. Yeah, that should do. So let's just drag that into the center there. Perfect. Actually, just a little bit smaller. So about, about that size will do. And just make sure that that is in the middle. All right, perfect. And now the next thing that you're going to need to do is duplicate this layer three more times so again just hit Control j oh sorry before you do that you actually want to rasterize type this layer just so it's um allows you for editing and movement freely of the object so now you want to duplicate the layer three more times and start from the bottom you want to go to you want to go to image adjustments and levels and in the channel which is like the color settings you want to turn red down and you want to turn green down doesn't matter what order that you do this in it doesn't make a difference and then you want to go to the next one and then same again image adjustments levels and for this one you want to do red and blue this means you'll get sort of like a nice green color and for the last one you want to do the same thing but for blue and green so again image adjustments levels and then green back to zero and blue back to zero once you've done that, you'll see if I just hide this layer, you've got the red, you've got the green, you've got the blue. Now, let me just take all those layers back. After you've done so, you want to click these three layers here and you just want to go to the filter. You want to go to blur and you want to go to gouache and blur and just leave it on two pixels and do this for only the colored ones. You do not need to do this for the white version. And again, filter, blur, gouache and blur. And finally, for the last one, filter, blur gouache and blur and make sure it is on two pixels because i think i've tested around with a couple of different pixel sizes and two just seems to work the best because it's not too blurry but it still makes the glitch effect work really well and what you want to now do is uh highlight these three layer types where it says normal click exclusion 
and that should be fine. And with now these layers, you want to just move them a tiny bit, just so you get that sort of glitch effect. As you can see already, it sort of looks really nice. And then add the green maybe to the bit to the left, and the blue maybe down to the right a little bit. Oh, a bit too much, like that. And what that exclusion layer does is it allows the colors to merge. So if I didn't have exclusion selected, you would only see red, blue, and green. But where the blue and the red cross, you see you get a, like a purple tone which adds to the glitch effect and you can't really see where the red and green cross because they don't because the green's coming out the left and the red's coming out the right but yeah nonetheless that still works and now what you want to do is you want to add uh i mean you can duplicate these layers just in case the first time uh doesn't succeed but you want to right click and you want to merge layers uh i'm actually just going to hide the other four layers just for now just to prove that you don't really need to do this but it's just in case you might mess up or you want to try something new and you want to click the um, marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool. And if you just go from the like the midpoint and then just drag down, it doesn't matter how big the selection is because you're only selecting the text. And you know, right click and you want to do layer via cut, not layer via copy because you're going to make a copy of the bottom part. And when you drag it, you'll still have both parts. But now, if you do layer via copy, you should have, if I'm correct, oh, not layer via copy. I literally just said, don't do that. My bad. Actually, I just remembered one thing you need to do. So before you actually go to do all that, you want to um, go to filter and you want to go to noise and you want to add uh, for the noise, you want to add noise and you want to have it at 20%. Now, as you can see, you can see it in the preview here. Um, it adds sort of like a, like, a gra like a granule effect and this just makes it look a bit more like a glitch, if you know what I mean. And yeah, that should be fine. And after that, now what you want to do is grab your rectangular marquee tool you want to come to here and you want to drag down just about there and layer via cut. Now what this will do if I just hide this layer, you have the top half and you have a bottom half. So if you select the bottom half, which is for me layer 13, you want to go to filter and then you want to go to distort and shear. Now I already have this laid out, so if you just copy how this is already layered, so you, you'll only have two points to start off with, but literally just drag, if you just click anywhere on the curve, it should make a new point for you, and you just drag that. So ignore the point I just clicked, but you want one in the top left, you want one on the second block, down one, and then so on and so forth, if you just follow that. Leave it on wrap around, and then just click OK. Now what you're going to see is your text will move slightly off centre. Now literally all you want to do with that is just drag that back. You might want to hold control because it allows it to move freely and the main thing you want to do here is you don't want to add it directly under you want to add it just a little bit off center so a little bit to the left and as you can see if i remove uh the extras just now because we're not really going to need them that much but i'm not going to move them just yet but yeah so you should see sort of like a somewhat glitch effect and it makes the text seem a bit more distorted as done now the last thing you're going to need to do is well there's two more things that you can do one of them is optional but one of them is sort of what you should do because it will make the text look a lot more it just makes it look more like a glitch effect so you want to grab your um, line tool just right click this and select line tool you want to have the weight on one pixel and you want the color I don't know why my fill is on this for some reason but you want the color on sort of like a gray so maybe this yeah that should do and you want to grab from one edge so go straight on the blue straight across like that and by doing so, if I just remove the extras now, which you do by clicking filter, oh sorry, view and extras, you see like it adds um, a line straight down the middle so it looks like it's cut it. If I just zoom in there, you can see like there's a little line that's been added and it looks like where the text disjoins, that's where the line is and that's what's separating the text. So yeah, I mean obviously it's going to be zoomed out so that's basically what you're going to see. Now the last thing that you can do, which isn't a must have, but it, it can make your thing look a little bit better. Which is, if we just go to here, um, I'm not sure what I saved it as. So I think I'm just going to go here, which is where I made my desktop background. I know it's a little bit different because I did this one differently. But this layer here, if you guys want it, I'll leave it in the description. So yeah, Control A to select and you want to make sure this layer is selected. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Now, you're probably wondering why the hell have I asked you to do this. It's literally messed up. But no, just to resize it a tiny bit, make sure you've dragged that all the way across so it fits perfectly and what you want to do is apply the transformation you want to change the opacity roughly to down 16 percent you can play around with this and yeah so um all you're going to see 
I'm not sure if I click. I think if I click just now, it's not going to show up. Okay, it will. So in between the bottom and the top blue line in the middle of this guy and horizontal, you'll see that um, that's basically where the banner is going to be. So that's all you're going to see. And what that last layer did is if I just zoom in here, I'll show you. There's little uh, the little lines, gray lines here. It just sort of adds the more VHS glitch effect, which you can use, and it will be really beneficial to you. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys really did enjoy this video and it helped you guys make a nice, cool banner, uh, please just hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and um, if you guys want more, I mean, you can just suggest it. And also, very soon. I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so it's going to be sort of like a channel revamp sort of thing. So it's going to be like a banner, a logo, and a couple thumbnails, maybe two to three thumbnails if you need any. Which is going to be completely free. I'm going to leave the giveaway for next video. But yeah, if you did enjoy, like I said, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm out.